I found it fascinating. For radio host and author Michael Medved, seeing China's 5,000-year-old culture portrayed through Shen Yun Performing Arts was a unique experience. Although performers are young, they're energetic, they're phenomenally acrobatic, they're very skilled. Mr. Medved is the host of The Michael Medved Show, a Seattle-based daily radio show that covers pop culture and politics. Things that's very impressive about it is the sets and the, uh, uh, the, the special effects with uh, some of the dancers going into the sets and then coming back out of the sets. It's extremely well staged and, uh, and again, I can only imagine the amount of creativity and effort and expense that went into uh, a production like this. In addition to traditional Chinese culture, Shen Yun tells stories of modern day courage by practitioners of a traditional Chinese meditation practice. Falun Gong, or Falun Dafa, has been persecuted by the Chinese Communist Party for almost two decades. Because of its portrayal of Falun Dafa's persecution, Shen Yun has not been allowed to perform in China. And a lot of devoted performers and tremendous creativity, and I think it, um, it actually makes people uh, aware of something that has seemed very distant, which uh, particularly the, the persecution of people involved with Falun Dafa. And uh, I'm very, I mean, it's, it's such an um, ambitious way to uh, try to familiarize people with uh, a, obviously something that is a very serious meditation and uh, spiritual discipline. Traditional Chinese culture is based on the idea of harmony between heaven and earth. Chinese culture was influenced by Taoism, Buddhism, and Confucianism, and emphasized virtue and self-discipline in daily life. But in 1949, the Chinese Communist Party seized power. It set out to destroy people's faith in the divine and to replace that faith with a belief in the party. It framed traditional culture as backwards and sought to destroy it through a campaign that targeted the four olds, old customs, old culture, old habits, and old ideas. There is something about the communist system that Americans still are uncomfortable with that simply is intolerant um, and partially because for people who are serious communists, that's the only true religion and nothing else can exist. And that's a great evil in the world. And someday, someday, um, that will be gone. NTD News, Seattle.